Oh, I, I found out about that in the week. Apparently, we paid a singer in Japan to make that, um, make the intro for this show. I mean, I guess to save money, not that we need to save any more money. And um, apparently, she's now not responding to any messages. Uh, so we've teamed up with the Japanese police to root her out. In fact, Himari, if you are listening, you can't hide from us much longer. Keep looking at your fucking windows. But enough of that. Welcome to A Fistful of Free Speech, or AFOFs for the Gen Z audience. Thanks for the support so far. Keep recommending the show to people. We're climbing up those podcast charts. It's important to say the exact numbers of how far we're climbing does not matter. It's safe to say we're fucking climbing them. And of course, thanks for all the messages of support for Rosie and I after we decided to rekindle the old flame. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I thought I'd be jealous dating an OnlyFans model. And I won't kiss and tell, but I will say she's being very attentive to my needs. Basically, we're just fucking all the time. And now to today's guest, Dr. Diane Stewart, a world-famous genealogist and host of genealogy show Family Footprints, where celebrities find out about their family history. The show is currently on hold after it was discovered that Diane was a racist. Okay, can I come to that? Yeah, in a second. Diane was a racist. Oh, that was the end. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry. Firstly, thanks for having me on, Zeb. Hmm. Secondly, I'm not a racist. I wasn't then and I'm not now. I... I just used some clumsy language. Yeah, um, that language was, I've got it here, you was caught referring to black people as a load of... Um, right, I don't think I can say... I know this is a free speech podcast, I don't think I can say that. Can I say that? No, nope, lots of white people shaking their heads very aggressively. All right, I won't say that. If you want to find out what she said, read about it in the Daily Mail. Uh, yes, but what I want to say is... I made a mistake. I apologised. And in my opinion, that should be the end of it. Mm. And if we're being honest... Compared to what you did. Oh, we can't talk about that. Absolutely can't talk about that. Not, not while the case is ongoing. So, my understanding is that Family Footprints is planning on coming back next year, but without you in it. Is that true? I believe a final decision hasn't been made yet, but the signs point to yes. I'm really heartbreaking news for me. And the worst thing? I found out online. Bastards. After everything I've done for them, they couldn't even give me the courtesy of letting me go in person. After all the years I've spent on that show, it, it took one small incident to replace me. And it's with Tony Robinson. I mean, that's annoyed me now, because you can't get worse than fucking Tony Robinson. That's really annoying. Jesus Christ. I'll tell you, Diane, when they come for you, they come hard. They come hard. Sorry, that reminded me of Rosie for some reason. Not sure why. Um. Anyway, they've potentially screwed you over massively. Question is... What the fuck are you going to do about it? Well, I would like to say to the BBC that it's not too late. You know the show wouldn't be the same without me and I urge you to reconsider. Mm. But if they refuse, then I'll be free to host a show on Arrival Channel. Mm, like a game show? Well, I was thinking another genealogy show. It could be a mix of two. Could be like, I don't know, first half, you do your normal shit... Uh, telling everyone what their ancestors did. You know, you was a soldier, you was, I don't know, you made shoes. Then the second half uh, could be like a sort of gladiator-style battle, but dressed as your ancestor, right? So the one who was a soldier gets given a long sword and one of those skirts they had, and uh, and the one who made shoes, give them some shoes, and uh, then they have to fight, possibly to the death. Huh? Do you know what? Now I say it, that might be more of a Black Mirror episode. Steph, send that to Charlie Brooker, uh, my name on it. No, I don't want to do a show like that. I want to do what I love. I, I want to front a show that explores people's family trees so that we, we all learn more about our shared history. Hmm. Talking of shared history, what's the weirdest thing you've ever dug up on anyone? Well, I'm not sure if it's weird, possibly more tragic. Ooh, go on. On an episode of Family Footprints that we weren't allowed to air, we discovered that the celebrity participant was a direct descendant of Heinrich Himmler. Ah, he was one of the really bad Nazis, wasn't he? One of the absolute worst, yes. Ah, now I'm sure you can't tell me who it was, but come on, who was it? Oh, no, I, I really can't. Sir. I'll tell you what, blink twice if it's Victoria Derbyshire. I, I really ah, can't. I fucking knew it. I've never liked her. She, you know, she refused to have me on her show. She told my agents because I was a gormless fucking moron, but uh, now it all makes sense. So um, tell me, what are you doing to fill your days now that you're unemployed? Oh, to be honest, I spend most of my time just trying to forget about all this nonsense. Mm. I, I do a lot of reading. Mm. Go on walks with my See, husband. it's interesting. I can't go on walks with Rosie. We've tried, right? But we're both too famous. People keep coming up to us. Annoyingly, it's mainly her fans. And the other day, actually, a fan of hers came up, one of her subscribers, and made a joke about her tits. So obviously I had to like, headbutt him. Uh, and then we had sex behind some bins. Me, me, me and Rosie, not me and the bloke. I don't know what happened to him. And knitting. Good stuff. So, Diane, little birdie, 
you, Steph, told me you might have prepared a little something for this show and for me in particular. Well, yes, your team asked if I would look a little bit into your family history, so I've prepared a report on your ancestry. Right, so I'm getting the family footprints experience, but for free. Well, you are paying me to be here. Should we get on with it? Yes, so this was a little difficult because of your parents. Yeah, fair enough. Am I allowed to say? I'll give a quick rundown. Basically, um, my parents uh, left me when I was eight to join a cult. Haven't seen him since. Last I heard, my dad was dead and my mum was claiming I don't exist. So, oh. you all right? Uh, uh, sorry, um, that's that's just really horrible. Mm. Sorry. It's all right. That's all right, fuck it. Who needs parents, eh? Come on, Doc, hit me. All right, Zebedee Purcell. Based on the religious connection, we're assuming your first name, Zebedee, is from either the Christian Bible or the famous Mormon pioneer. Ah, straight out the gate, you're wrong. Ah, it was a magic roundabout, actually. Yeah, my, my parents were huge fans. Fuck knows why, we didn't have a TV. But um, in fact, my, they were such big fans that one year my dad painted the garage to look like a massive Dougal. Um, again, fuck knows why, and it made it really hard to sell the fucker when they pissed off. That's really interesting. Hmm. Um, your surname is a little easier to work out. Purcell from the old French word Purcell, which means little pig. You what? Little pig. What the fuck? My surname means little fucking pig? Yes, and it's not a particularly common surname. At first we thought you might be related to Henry Purcell. Oh, the writer? The composer? Yeah, I was like a writer of fucking music, yeah. Uh, but you're not. On your father's side, it seems like you're from a long line of Purcells who were all weavers. So, they worked on the looms making cloth. What the fuck? That's the lamest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. The only exception to this being Basil Purcell, your okay. great, 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 but 37 more greats, grandfather, who wrote on the census that he was a welder. Ah. But based on the evidence, we think he may have misspelled it and he was actually just a weaver as well. Well, that is fucking boring. It gets worse, I'm afraid. We can't find any information on your mother's side at all because she changed both her first name and her last name during her childhood. Hold on, so Luna Bluebell is not her real name? I'm afraid not. This is a, a mind fuck. But wow. we did find something interesting with your DNA test. Okay. Do you know your ethnic makeup? My ethnic, well... I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just British, I'm white. Sorry, I'm just, I've been spending too much time with her. I think I'm just, I'm just white, aren't I? Uh, well, that doesn't seem to be the full story. What? You are predominantly white British and Irish, yes, 75%, but you also have 25% North African DNA. N Hold on, that doesn't make sense. Yes, it means that one of your grandparents is 100% North African. Um, Egyptian, we think. That doesn't... That doesn't make any sense. None of my fucking and Egyptian ancestors. I know my the, the, some of them. The granddad, Granddad Mike, right? Granny Carol, Granddad Archie, Granny Babu, right? And none of them. Granny Babu. Yes. Well, I believe then it probably is your Granny Babu. Um, what do you know of her? I, I don't know anything of her. I don't know that she, she died before us. Both of them died before I was uh, before I was born. All I do know is that there was a song that um, she used to sing to my mum that my mum used to sing to me when I was a kid. How did it go? Oh, well, Steph, it was 20 years ago, but um, I mean, it was, uh, I'm not much of a singer. It was something like, um, uh, Teary, Teary, Yara, Sephora, Hanumit, Likal, we see, I, uh, now I think about it, that does sound quite foreign, doesn't it? Is this a bit of a shock, Zeb? Uh, yeah. I mean, don't know, I just, my whole life, I just thought I was English. So, uh, wow, Egyptian, eh? Hold on, what do I get out of this? National holiday or something? Probably, yes. Ah, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'm mean, looking into that as soon as I leave here. If you fuckers don't give whatever that is to me, I'll rinse you fuckers for all your worth. Ah, look at them now, look at each other, yeah, scared. I'll tell you another thing. Ah, no more fucking diversity inclusion meetings for me. Nah, no more online seminars, no thank you. I'll tell you what, from now on, I'll be giving those fuckers. Yeah, you'll have to listen to me talking a load of shit for two hours. See how you like those fucking apples. And that's all I have for you, Zeb. Wow, what a revelation. I am African. Uh, to be clear, uh, North African. Yeah, potato, potato. Well, what a way to end the show. Ah, amazing. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Dr. Stewart, for the fascinating revelation. Uh, good luck convincing the BBC you're not racist. Actually, might help this. Done a, done a podcast with an African man. You're welcome. Right, well, thanks for listening, everyone. I'll see you on the next episode.
Keep your eyes open and keep the speech free. In whatever language you speak, maybe it's the Egyptian language. Good night. Wow. Sign it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be afraid of such starting news about your DNA. That's excellent news. No, no, I'll take you on rinsing out for all this work. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to get one of the hats. Can get hats I mean, I can do a fair What are those hats called? The little hat with a little thing on it. Maybe not. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more of this stuff, click on the little circle in the middle to subscribe. If you want to watch more of Fistful of Free Speech, click the video on the left. For some other random shit on this channel, video on the right. Cheers.